And yet Ukraine was invaded um, by Russia. Um, a lot of people slaughtered, continue to be slaughtered. Um, is there not a contradiction there that these Republicans yes. Yes. would be I mean, yes. full square <laughs> behind Israel when it happens to them, but not full square behind Ukraine? I mean, yes, there is a contradiction. It depends on on sort of what is being said about Ukraine, and, and it runs the gamut. And some of the candidates that you've talked about have talked about ending aid completely to Ukraine. Some have talked about continuing aid to Ukraine and, and pursuing some sort of, of deal with the Russians that allows them to keep part of the Donbass and Crimea, which I think is a completely different story and, and is an actual off-ramp. Um, but yes, anybody who is, who is you know, sympathetic to Russia in the Russia-Ukraine conflict and then it's sympathetic to Israel in this current conflict, uh, that, that that is a, a bizarre position to take. And again, I think that they're serious. America's a sovereign country. It has its own concerns that are not Israel's concerns, and it has its own concerns that are not Ukraine's concerns, and those don't, th those don't always line up. Um, but when it comes to you know, a possible contradiction between a completely isolationist position on Ukraine and, a, and an interventionist position or a supportive position on Israel, uh, of course, those things could could clearly be in conflict. In my own position, by the way, on, for what it's worth, since I, yeah, as you know, Pierce, I do this for a living. Uh, it, my own position on Ukraine has been that the United States should continue to supply Ukraine with the support necessary in order to preserve its government and preserve its territory.